I have the honor of presenting this to you, Josephine Muyewa Afolabi, as a certificate of membership and as a fellow. Certificates been given out to newly inducted and confirmed members of the Chartered Institute of Environmental and Public Health Management of Nigeria. We have initiated and now at the stage of signing a memorandum of understanding with the Canadian Institute of Public Health Management and the Chartered Institute of Environmental and Resource Management of United Kingdom for collaborative programs where holders of our certificates could be given opportunities for direct membership. The keynote speaker addresses how investing in keeping mothers and infants healthy can ultimately promote sustainable development. As a country, we have been more reactionary than proactive when it comes to healthcare in general. This has left a great divide amongst the diseases that we are still struggling to control. Many of the diseases that cause maternal and infant mortality are not only preventable, but quite controllable. But we have simply failed to do the needful. The inhibiting factors, obstructing progress and options to combating the issues were also highlighted. We need to focus on achievable interventions, such as training various cadres of the healthcare team to meet the human resource demand. For instance, training the traditional birth attendants or TBAs and religious institutions to register the mothers and children to make them accountable and so that they can manage pregnancies and deliveries with better outcomes and also easily refer them their difficult cases to healthcare facilities. The Institute also exhibited a model of his secretariat that it is working on. Vivian Irikefe, TVC News.